What is going on you guys, this is TechHE coming at you with a brand new video and today this is the 2015 Game Room Setup. Now this is pretty insane because it's been a year since I made an updated Game Room Setup. Of course I do one every year from 2012 all the way to now and the 2012 and 13 and 14 was pretty different. It's like, like seeing them now is pretty insane on how it has become since 2012. So everything that you're going to see in my game room is going to be in the description below so you guys can go purchase it on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, birthdays, stuff like that if you guys enjoy anything that you see in my setup. So I'll leave everything in the description below and just to let you guys know that my game room is actually my actual room before it used to be in the basement but we are doing some things to improve the game room so keep in mind in 2016 it might be in the game room basement pretty much than in this actual room but it's still pretty cool i very much love it so let's go see how it is so the first thing that we're gonna look at is three call of duty posters now i bought all three of these posters on amazon and they are 22 by 34 and they look very well done and i also bought the frames at michael's for around 20 bucks each and they really complete the poster setup on the desk below the posters i have some simple things like my cracked iPod Touch connected to some speakers for when I'm listening to music, the LED light bulb from 1x1, and my two old phones that I shot and smashed with, and I have videos on that as well. On the opposite side next to my desk, I have my tripod, and above is my old laptop with some paperwork, and next to that is my Lexmark X7170 printer, and below that is my mini fridge where I keep all my drinks like sodas, waters, etc. Now, coming to the part that we all care about is the setup. Starting off is my desktop where I have all the specs in the description below and then moving up is a DIY light setup where I use some old pipes to connect them all together and I put a white cloth to give it a bit of a white filter. I know it looks ghetto but it does the job. Now going to the top of the desk, I have a couple of old cameras. The left side of the speakers that are connected to the desktop, home through the Advanced Warfare Atlas Pro Edition, Next to it is an arm stand that is holding the Focusrite CM25 Cordier microphone with the pop filter and mic foam. Next to that is the Xbox 360 Connect, and behind that is the Linksys Wireless AC Universal Media Bridge that gives any devices connected speeds of up to 1.3 gigabits per second. Next to that is my Netgear R7000 Wi-Fi router, and that is where the Media Bridge is connected to and any other device in this setup. And then finally, we have the right side of the speakers. Now below all of that, on the left side, we have my Xbox One with 500 gigabits of storage, my Halo Reach statue, and then we have the white PS4 with 500 gigabits of storage as well. Coming next to that, we have the 2013 Astro A40 headset, and behind it is the Altec Lansing speakers with bass, and that is where I have the speakers above connected to. Above the bass, I have the Turtle Beach Tournament mix amp, and below that is the 2013 Astro Mix Amp. Now below that is my Xbox One Scuf Gaming Controller, Envious Edition. I have my Control Freak Outburst and 2015 COD Champs on the controller, and the Turtle Beach Xbox One adapter as well. Next to that is the simple white PlayStation 4 controller, which I prefer a lot more, the white edition. Next to that is my Hotpock HD PVR2 capture card, and on top of that is the Elgato HD60 capture card. Coming next to that is the Focusrite Scarlet Solo Mixer, which is where I have my microphone connected to, and on top of that is my G Fuel Phaseberry Flavor, and my Control Free Cleaning Kit to keep everything nice and squeaky clean, and then next to that, my 1TB hard drive, and my no-scope gaming glasses, and the controllers to control all the color lighting behind my setup. Now above all that is my Dell Ultra Sharp 19 inch LCD monitor and next to that is the 24 inch BenQ 1 millisecond response time gaming monitor, perfect for FPS games like Black Ops 3, Halo 5, etc. On top of the BenQ monitor is the Logitech C920 webcam and this shoots crispy 1080p video and holding both of my monitors up is a tight supply dual monitor stand that can hold up to two 24 inch monitors. Below all that, I have my keyboard and my mouse, and I use the Shark Backlit Wireless Keyboard, and that has seven different colors for everyone's liking, and next to that is the Innovero Gel Mouse Pad with the wrist rest, and my Microsoft Scopes Comfort Mouse. 
perfect for Windows 10 with the Windows button on the side. Now just want to show you guys a little bit more from the left side to basically show you how everything is pretty close and everything has its place and it's pretty organized from where I look at it. Now on the opposite side of my setup is my bed but looking up you can see that there is something hanging and that is actually a projector but I use it as a background for whenever I'm making an announcement video on this channel or a gameplay video on my gaming channel. And whenever I'm making a gameplay video, I will have XSplit open on my Dell monitor with my microphone down aiming at me and my Logitech C920 webcam on and having the two DIY lights on aiming at me as well with the projector down behind me for the background. So there you guys have it. That is my late 2015 game room setup. Everything you saw in this video will be in the description below and it's a big improvement from the 2014 setup. I plan on upgrading some things like DIY lights to actual LED lights, my Wi-Fi router, media bridge, my Astro A40 headset, a new monitor, upgrade some parts for my desktop, just so much to upgrade that I hope will be in the 2016 edition. So there you guys have it, hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, this is Tech HD, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!